Okay, good morning everyone. Coming out into the sunshine. It is a beautiful day here in Portugal, out on my balcony. <sighs> it feels like uh, summer is finally here. Not finally. <laughs> I'm used to speaking like I'm a Canadian. Anyways, I was dancing out on the balcony this morning and look at my shoulder. I have movement. I have movement. So, if you've had chronic pain, if you've had any kind of issues where it's just a chronic issue. Um, I heard an exercise last night and I tried it and oh my god it worked. I woke up this morning after seven hours sleep. I haven't had seven hours sleep in four months. Uh, maybe three to four hours sleep and then I'd wake up in this excruciating pain. And so what was it that I was doing? Oh let me share it with you. So if you've had chronic pain at all, any kind and mysterious chronic pain where you just can't isolate it and the Mayo Clinic and everyone else just can't figure out what it is. Most likely number one you're an empath, right? So you can check out my empath exercises for that. That usually does it. But this one was a chronic pain inside my shoulder and it was isolated. And I realized that shoulder injuries are indicative of um, carrying too much weight on your shoulders, you know, uh, burdens, sorrow, um, you know, all of that. And eventually your body will give because you just can't hold that load for very much longer. Same with lower back uh, issues, it's like you're breaking back, you know, same thing. So anyways, um, I'm going to go inside, there's lots of trucks coming in. Anyways. So here's the exercise. Basically, we know that this is all energy, that you are energy, I am energy, and we are in a collective illusion. I am in your illusion, you're in mine, right? We are sharing this, um, this shared consciousness. Okay, so if we understand that, then we also understand that we are the masters of our universe and that we can create anything that we desire. Correct? Yes. So you're with me. Okay. So some people would say pain is psychosomatic, meaning that, uh, you know, somewhere deep inside you're calling this injury in or this pain in to serve a purpose, you know, whether it's, you know, to get attention or whether it's to avoid something, you know, it's either moving towards or going away from, right? In NLP, it's always one way or the other. It's a world of contrast, isn't it? So if you're moving towards something, if you're wanting attention perhaps, then ask yourself, okay, what part of me inside is calling this, this chronic pain in to serve as some kind of purpose, whether it's moving away or moving uh, towards, okay? So that's what I did last night. I settled in and did some deep breaths, and then I asked myself this question, okay, where in my body am I calling in this pain? And I realized it was connected to my heart. Okay, so why is my heart um, sorrowful? Why, why is my heart wanting to call this pain in? Right, and, uh, and the answer came immediately, was that I realized I was off path. And by creating the pain, I could distance myself from people legitimately and without having uh, drama or, or trauma, <laughs> right? And, and so it was a way of having some distance, some peace of mind and being able to go, okay, this is the path that I wanna take now. And, and without all of the, the drama that would be included with it. So that was a real revelation that my shoulder injury was because I was carrying so much emotionally, number one, but it was also deep down because I wanted to avoid um, contact. I wanted to end something and um, my body was screaming out with that. I didn't know it at the time, but my body, my soul, my spirit was reacting to it and was telling me in no uncertain terms that it just wanted to have distance, right? From, 
from people, places, things around me because I knew that I was off my path. And in order to get back to my path, I had to make some serious changes, right? To my health, especially, and to my eating habits, especially my living environment, everything. So I feel like I'm going through a midlife crisis. My God, last time I did this, I got a belly ring. <laughs> I wrote a friend last night and that's what I said. I said, uh, something's coming, man. And it, it could be interesting. Last time I did this and felt this way, I, uh, I had a six pack, mind you, <laughs> but I went out and I got a belly ring. So yeah, I think that uh, it's a revolution time for me and for you. Uh, we have maybe, <clears throat> I don't want to put a timeline on it. Some are saying that we have a year left before um, catastrophe, before the end of, you know, what we know to be true. And I, I don't think so. Well, yes, I do agree that there is something approaching and so this is our imminent time. This is our wake up call. This is the time that we really need to focus on what we are here to do. And uh, if it will make some people sad around you that you're not going to be uh, as available, well, my God, you know, do you want to get to the end of your time and go, I should have, could have, would have, you know, I should have listened to that little voice inside me. I should have listened to you know, the, the need and the drawing towards a different path. If your body is reacting in a certain way, it's because it's trying to freaking wake you up, you know, and or shut you down from going in a direction that perhaps is not best suited for you. So listen to your body because it is speaking to you. If there's pain, there is a reason. So ask yourself here and now, if I have chronic pain, if I have any kind of pain, pain in my body, because that is not our natural state. Our natural state is joy, happiness, dancing out on the balcony this morning to Jason Moratz. You know, uh, what were the songs? Uh, I'm going back to the earth. I'm going back to the earth. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm, I'm growing my own food, right? As many are on this planet. Um, and the other one was you beautiful thing and you can have it all now that is a song that makes me tear up I was thinking about my kids actually and uh, and I was singing you know to the world you know that you can have it all you can have it all and um, I was thinking about my kids but then I thought about my brother the day that my brother died in 2018 um, I got in the car because I had to run into town to get some stuff for for his passing. And I turned on the car and boom, this song came on. I had never heard it before. It was brand new. It was the first time it had ever been played. And I swear it was sent to me by the angels because it was my brother speaking to me. You can have it all, right? Here's to the, the people that you're going to help change. And, and the world that you're going to assist in and the hearts that you won't break, right? Because once we understand that um, we're all in alignment and when we listen to our inner guidance, there can be no pain any longer. So release the pain, embrace your path, and let's get on with it. We've got like a year to really elevate our vibration and our consciousness worldwide. So let it begin with you here today. And so it is. Much love to everyone. We'll chat soon. Bye now. You can have it all.